This story I thought was really important. China's Google equivalent can clone voices after seconds of listening. Uh, Baidu, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Baidu's AI research team has developed a neural network that can mimic a voice with less than a minute long sample. The software can also change the voice into other genders and accents. It goes on to talk about AI mimicry. And you can listen to some of the things here. This is an article from futurism.com. But we even see a new scientist report that um, there was a program, let's see, something created by AI where there could be a fake Obama. Like you can actually literally make a, a person look and say completely different things. Let's just play this video now. It got me thinking about my full-time employees and their ability to survive on $8 an hour in New York City. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Okay, so this is from the University of Washington, excuse me, but basically the first paragraph that Obama said there was real, the second one you're seeing a video of Obama speaking and his mouth is not real, and his words are not real. And so basically, <laughs> we're talking about fake news now, you know, fake news. But can you believe that, you know, AI will make it possible to completely fake somebody's face, fake them speaking, fake their words, because you can literally copy their voice? And I mean, it brings spam to a whole nother level. And can't you imagine the excuses people will have saying, Oh, that was AI. I didn't say that. That was AI. That was a fake video, <laughs> right? <laughs> They're gonna, so it's going to be even harder to tell what's real or not. So AI is a very serious thing. I don't think we need to be uploaded into machines and become machines and have our souls uploaded and eliminate the human body. And I think we need to really figure out what's going on with AI right now. We can't wait on it because it's, it's the biggest as... Uh, Elon Musk said, he said it was a bigger problem than North Korea. And these are just some of the reasons why it is. And everybody thinks it's cute and funny and everything else, but um, it's a very serious thing. And I think it can be good if we really get a hold of what's going on with it now and the agendas of the people that are creating the AI. Because Google, you know, Google's Ray Kurzweil. His agenda is to upload our consciousness into a computer and then really just be trapped there. So you basically have, and in, in their words, you live forever. But this is not the whole story. Life here on earth is not everything we're meant to be. So uh, we're not going to live forever in a computer. And that's not, this life is not, you know, you're not just your human body. When you look at near-death experiences and mediums and, Things that actually, you know, have been studied with thousands of cases, specifically the uh, past life regressions from Dr. Brian Weiss out of Yale and Dr. Ian Stevenson out of the University of Virginia, where they have a five-year-old child that remembers a past life, and they go and find out there was a real guy that was a British soldier that had this family and this little kid knows everything about it, and it's just some random soldier from 300 years ago, things like that. Thousands of cases of those exist, so it's not so simple. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments. Believe.love is our website, and at youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell, and I look forward to you joining our community and really helping us to advance, become more aware, and find solutions and find out what's really going on.